Okay, welcome back for this uh, number 10. Okay, module uh, Excel lab number 10. It's a little bit um, going forward, it's a little bit uh, long lab, but uh, it's an easy, but it's uh, steps are a little bit lengthy for creating a virtual network gateway of type express root. What is it? It's a virtual network gateway of type express root. In this exercise, we will create a VPN gateway of express root in gateway subnet in VNet cloud. Okay, and VNet cloud was created in lab three. Okay, so we are gonna create, we go into, we are on all resources, networking, virtual network gateway. We are gonna go to virtual network gateway over here. Okay, we are gonna add we're gonna add a virtual network gateway. Okay. Create a virtual network gateway. Pay as you go. Name will be ER Cloud. It will be an ER Cloud. ER means Express Root Cloud. Okay. And it will be on east us2 okay express root not vpn we are doing express root okay and issue will be standard virtual network which virtual network because uh, if you are doing a es east us2 so it will be on vnet cloud it will be on vnet cloud it's showing it's in in use Why it's in use? VNet Cloud. Create a new ERIP IP dynamic and use. Why did you change this? Validation is failed. Why is validation is failed? Okay, basics VNet Cloud because VNet Cloud is already working. VNet Cloud is already working with a VPN connection. But if it's not there, if it is for this exercise, if it's not there, then if I'll do this, yes, here you go. I'll go, I can associate with if it's VNet Cloud, I can do it with VNet Cloud too. Address range is already coming okay and eirp okay because why it was failed it was failed because vnet cloud is all already associated with vpn connection if i'll put this vpn connection it will go to vpn gw when it was already there okay so if i'll do express route it was also already associated so i'll do vnet cloud 2 and it was not created it was not associated with any of the VPN connections. So if I'll do review, it's gonna validate. The validation is passed, and then I'll gonna do a creation. This is how you create a, a virtual network gate, uh, virtual network gateway and a express route. Okay. Its deployment as usual is on the way. Let's just hold on for some time until the deployment is taking time. See the deployment is taking time. Deployment is in progress. Okay. It's created. Okay. So we just go and just wait for it a little bit. And then we're going to do what else I'm going to do. I'm going to create express root circuit in resource group rg cloud and show how to connect it to the virtual network vnet cloud okay 
so if I'll go to all services it is on still on basically deployment is on progress let's see it's already five minutes I'll put it on pause until the deployment is completed now it's completed the deployment is completed we are on the ER cloud okay on that on its panel service key okay in the right hand pane now down note down the service key where is the service key on the right hand side service key I don't think they're showing me any service key right now let's see I think so okay refresh I'm gonna refresh it no it's not showing no it's not showing the service key out here we didn't get any service keys okay yeah yeah the cloud it's not showing any sorry we haven't sorry we haven't we are all on the er cloud right now okay now we're gonna create an express root circuit and connect to vnet cloud okay now we're gonna go back to all services networking networking virtual uh, networking and you're gonna see an express route we're gonna look for it it should be here networking express route express route circuits is it express route circuits or it is only an express route it's saying express route okay you go there networking networking which over here you went to all services networking and express route circuits okay you create add okay circuit name i put er erc cloud erc let's say it's a circuit cloud provider if i'll put it at and okay i'll put it at and pairing location i said washington dc okay and also bandwidth 50 mbps the standard billing model is metered okay it's showing rg cloud over here resource group where you're creating it is on the rg cloud and rg cloud is on east us2 and you put create and you create it as soon as you're gonna create it it will gonna validate first it will gonna do a validation and it will gonna create okay then you'll see a serial key service key as soon as the deployment is done you're just gonna see a serial key then that service key not the serial key sorry it is service key so when you see the service key you have to see uh, send this service key to the service provider for provisioning of the circuit okay okay it is i think so it's done i'll go back again go to the express root circuits okay Okay, is this still not done yet still it's on the deployment phase deployment succeeded go to the resource ERC cloud you see this service you see this service key you're gonna send the service key to at and for provisioning okay so now you're gonna 
in the same ERC in the circuit cloud you're gonna go to connections as soon you have to create a circuit connection the circuit is not yet provisioned so when the circuit has been provisioned then you'll be able to create a when the AT&T or the service provider will gonna do a provisioning then they will gonna then you'll be able to see a private pairing on on that okay okay now we're gonna go to pairings okay you see this pairing showing over here okay azure private azure public and microsoft not provisioned okay so this is about private private pairing if uh, if you're trying to create a private pairing it will not gonna create because the connection is not provisioned yet it will be provisioned by the AT&T or the service provider you have selected okay even if you go to connections or either you go to pairing it will not gonna give you to create any connections or to create any pairings okay as soon as it will be provisioned then it will gonna start showing you okay so this is basically the end of lab number 10 thank you so i'm gonna stop it and we're gonna come back with the more important labs of creating the vm storage and the vms on azure cloud thank you see you on the next lab